Do you want to know how to steal the new Fort of Fortune? Or maybe you just want to go on your first ever thieving adventure. Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Hippo TC. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below, and smash that subscribe button. I also stream Sea of Thieves every week on Twitch. You can find my schedule down below as well as my links. If you want to, I'd love to have you come by and say hi. Hi. With all this out of the way, let's jump in to the video. Thieving inside of Sea of Thieves is all about a few basic concepts that I want to talk to you today about. So I'm going to share with you the things that I think about when I approach a Fort of Fortune that helps me, for the most part, get some pretty successful steals from any given fort and honestly any given thing that I'm after inside of Sea of Thieves. So let's talk about the first and the most important thing that is your approach to any fort you need to make sure that you cut off your line of sight from a fort now you can use rocks you can use islands basically anything that can hide your ship now each fort is going to have a different way to approach it and some forts are going to be easier to tuck on or to hide your ship than others but you can use this general basic principle that will help you in your tucking adventures and that is this if you can see them they can see you now if you're looking for some of the best ways to approach any given fort honestly that just comes with time and practice so if you want to jump over to my twitch stream i love to tuck and to steal and so i'm constantly showing and figuring out new ways to hide any ship well, with that being said, once you find the spot that you want to hide your ship, park it, get some food, load up on your supplies, and jump out. I don't recommend using a rowboat. I actually think the best way to approach any fort is to swim because I believe a rowboat's a little easier to see, especially for those crews that are watching the horizon. Rowboats tend to bounce a lot in the waves and make it really visible, and I think the mermaids are actually a little bit easier to hide. As you approach the fort, there's something that you need to be doing, and that is gathering intel. You need to start figuring out what you're up against. What wave are they on at the fort? And start analyzing the crew that you're facing up against. Now, it's pretty obvious if it's a newer crew, they're going to take their time with doing the fort. It's going to take the fort a little bit longer to be completed. But if they're an efficient crew and you can tell that they've been around for a while, they're going to go through these waves really fast. And this all kind of lets you know the type of crew that you're against. Now, let's talk about my favorite spot to hide at any given Fort of Fortune. And it is this spot right here in the tower. I'm going to show you how to get up to this spot. All you need to do is in any of the towers, there is a corner that has this kind of invisible wall that you can run and jump on. You're going to jump on that visible wall, climb all the way to the corner, and then you can just jump on over to this beam. And then once you're there, just throw in a barrel, tuck a moat, and you are golden. It's really that simple. And yes, you can do it in any of the towers. You just got to find the right corner. Now that you've approached the fort in stealth, you have found your tuck spot and the opposing crew has no idea that you're there. What do you do now? Well, you got to play the game as it is given to you. Some crews are going to be blowing up the kegs. And what you do in that situation is you just kind of have to decide, do you try to sink the ship or do you just go after the chest of legends? Some crews and most crews out there, especially the Fort of Fortune, they don't want to blow up the kegs because there's the Athena mega keg that they want to save. Well, in that case, just wait for them to load it up onto their ship and take the shot with that beautiful explosion happening. And most crews are not going to be able to survive that. Really, at this point in the steal, there's really no guarantee that you're going to come out successful. And each steal is going to be a little bit different than the last. Most crews are going to put the kegs in the crow's nest, which will make it easy. But some crews are smart and they'll blow up the kegs, which means you kind of have to decide in the moment what you're going to do. And that's where just time and experience really comes in to play. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this breakdown of kind of what to do to steal the Fort of Fortune. If you want to see it live and in action again, check my Twitch out. You can find the description and the links in the comments below. I love to steal. I am a filthy Fort Tucker. So if you want to see this stuff live, jump on over to my Twitch. I hope this video helps some of you guys out. Remember, the most important things, though, is the approach 
and the tucking spot. Once you have been found, it is going to be significantly harder to steal a fort, and you're gonna go from stealing a fort to fighting for a fort. So it's all about that approach.